so I'm on my way right now to go um, to go get Macho to to see if he can come home with me. The doctor has to go over, I guess, some things with me. Um, but I was talking to the tech, and the tech said. She goes, I'm not the doctor. She goes, but I think he, he might be able to go home tonight instead of going to the ER. So I am just on a hope and a prayer right now that he can come home with me. So um, the vet is just literally right up this street, this off of the street that I'm on right now. been on pins and needles all day. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Here's the vet right here, vet's office. Okay, I'm, I am hoping, 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 and praying that I get to bring him home. Hold on, guys. Put your chart up, it'll just be a few moments. Okay, and thank, thank you. Everything with you. Thank you. Okay, so we just got him in here and he's not moving really. Macho, are you okay, baby? Are you okay? I just need to get home. I just want to get home. Okay, so we made it home. Here he is. Here he is. So I have to go get his um and they they gave me they gave me, you know, one of these big cones right here. Um but I have one of those blue inflatable ones from when he got fixed. So I need I need to grab that really quick. I think I put it in here. Oh, where could it be? Great. Oh, I know where it is. Hold on, guys. But not even been on his bed. He kind of rolled off. I still got a. Where did I put that inflatable thing? What? Uh, okay, well, I can't find his um, blue inflatable cone. I will, but I put his dumb plastic, the, shon, the cone of shame on, and Arashi is really concerned with him. But, um,. I don't know if, I don't know how much I got of you hearing the, the vet talk, but she left it up to me whether or not I wanted to take him to the emergency room tonight or not. I'll stay up all night with him. She gave me a list of things to watch for, like diarrhea and vomiting, and um, she said like if he collapses, like when he's walking, but he's walking fine. He's, you know, a little little drunkish right now, but um, so I'm gonna pull all-nighter and stay up with him and make sure he's doing fine. I got a ton 
of medicine. <sighs> A ton of medicine, but overall. Oh, and they found, um, let me show you. I don't, they found it was a hoof. It wasn't, it was not a pit like I thought it was. It was, um, this is the food I have to feed him for the next 30 days. This is my bill. Um, what was I looking for? I'm so distraught right now. This is what they found in him, lodged in his intestine. It's a hoof bone. She said that it was stuck. And then this piece of wire right here. So that's what it is. It's a piece of wire actually and it's from this right here. Dave installed these just this past weekend and I remember he stripped one of the one of the wires and I guess the piece fell on the floor that he didn't pick up and Macho ate it and but these little bone, these hoof bone pieces, they're sharp and jagged and <sighs> so no more hoof bones for him. I don't think I'm ever going to give him anything to eat ever again. He's going to, I'm going to muzzle his mouth shut and make him eat through a straw. I'm, that was scary. That was scary, but um, it was a costly, it was a costly bet visit. But Macho, I think, is going to be okay. He seems to be doing okay right now. So I'll keep you guys updated and posted with um, any other news. But right now, he's, he seems to be doing okay. He's just drunk. So, okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, Macho the Rottweiler. Facebook at Macho the Rottweiler. Just one more thing before I actually sign off. I want to um, thank you guys for all your prayers and support and your comments and your kind words. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's It helps. It really does. So, is she going to go in there and lay down? So, thank you everybody for that. Um, it helped so much. She's comforting Macho. <laughs> right.